So I'm going to go about showing you all your components. The front panel, you've got your stop button here, the start button. Then we've got the jog button over here. And off on the right, you'll have your motor on indicator. Below that is the uh, strain relief for your power input. Here's a review of the back side, circuit breaker 1 and 2. Again, from the back side, your stop button, your start button, and your jog button over, over there. Finally, the motor on indicator. Here's a view of the top down with all the components installed. Uh, you'll notice that I don't have the control relay plugged in, but uh, that is. And here's the transformer. You have some number eight by half inch screws, so be sure you utilize those to mount the transformer. And there's your connection diagram. You've got your primary be connected in parallel for 120 volts, and your series connected for 24 volts. These are the shorting bars for selecting your voltage. They go underneath the screw clamps. And you can see how they're mounted here on the primary side. Here's the H1 and the H3 connection and the H2 and H4 connection. Those shorting bars are underneath the clamps. And you can see the shorting bar for the secondary being installed. It's just a about there it's not quite in place yet and here it is installed and you can look really close and you can see the outline of it there underneath the clamp and ready to go On your power cord, you want to strip it back about 10 inches, and give you enough wire to work with and everything, and put the cord in and route the cord around inside the cable tray. The overload relay attaches to the motor starter contactor. You've got five connections there that you have to make, and they connect up, and in this case, the 8T4 goes over to 14 slash 22 and you can see all the different connections there. A2 is brought out to the new A2 connection. And here's the whole thing all put together. The red button is you can push that and trip the overload. Here's a quick view of the wiring without the covers. There's the 120 volt AC neutral and then the 24 volt both neutral and hot. Just another view of the wiring. And a view of the back of the front panel with the wiring. Now we can start putting the covers on. Remember on the wiring view, the wires were straight point to point, not all jammed up inside. And there's the top down view with all the covers on. Now when you're wiring, you got some wild wire and things to look out for. You can see the little tiny wire right up there, single strand of copper wire escaped. You got to watch out for those. Make sure you don't have any of those visible. Here's another one where the wires escape from out from underneath the clamp and uh, you need to take it out, reseat it and put it back in again.
and finally another out from underneath the clamp and that's pretty much it so get going get wiring we'll uh, get this all done <laughs>